All right, changing gear a little bit. Cargo is how you inter interact with Rust in a useful fashion. Um, the most common command that everybody starts with is cargo init, which tells cargo that you'd like to make a new project. And if we were doing a workshop right now, I would have you type cargo init hello and have a look at what's being created. Um, the, it's created a, a directory called hello. In there, you'll find there's actually a .git folder because it's created a new Git repository for you. It, there are ways to turn that off, but by default, it is Git integrated from the beginning. It's created a Git ignore file so you don't accidentally fill your uh, Git repository with all of your compiled binaries. It's created a file called source main um, in the source folder, which will contain the entirety of Hello World. We'll have a look at that in a second. And it's made a, a file called cargo.toml, which describes how your program should be built. And we'll have a look at that too. So the generated cargo.toml. Um, cargo.toml has to exist for every Rust project. Cargo uses it to determine what your project is and how it should be compiled. The defaults are very simple. It takes whatever name you gave cargo init. It will give you version 0.1 as the first version. You can use anything you want, but it's strongly recommended that development versions be zero dot a number and release versions be one, two, three, followed by a number. Uh, the final number usually being a patch release. It gives you a helpful hint that you can find more key definitions at a URL pointing to the cargo documentation. And dependencies will always be empty because by default it won't install anything else. Now the generated main dot rs if you're new to rust the first uh, but you've programmed in other languages the first thing you'll probably think is this is a terse language you know instead of function we've spelt we've just cut it down to fm um, it's also quite c like you've got curly brackets marking marking the uh, blocks and the scopes and you don't white space actually doesn't matter it just formats it by default for you um, print line you know that's relatively easy to use hello world so if you were to run this, you would type cargo run. And in a workshop, I would normally have you do so right now. Uh, you'll see a compiling message, and then you'll see the output, hello world. 